The challenge that I've tried to solve is the fact that the vast majority of the world's people are affected by mental health problems, most of whom live in low and middle income countries, do not receive the care that we know can transform their lives. This is because of many reasons. For example, the idea that mental health problems are too trivial for poor people in poor countries. They have far more important things to worry about. Or that to address mental health problems, we need specialists who are very scarce and very expensive, and most countries and most people simply cannot afford them. My work has tried to address these ideas by generating knowledge that demonstrates, for example, that mental health problems are universal forms of human suffering that they are profoundly associated with social disadvantage and deprivation and indeed when one is affected by a mental health problem it becomes doubly difficult to address that disadvantage. But perhaps most excitingly the demonstration that resources that are plentiful and affordable in every community can be harnessed to address mental health problems. For example, through the use of community health workers to deliver psychological and social interventions. I believe that my work, alongside that of others, has made a contribution to the emergence of global mental health as one of the most dynamic and vibrant fields of global health. It has also influenced national and global policy to prioritize mental health as a legitimate cause of human suffering for investment and action. And I'm also very proud that I have played a role in helping bridge the gaps between people with a lived experience and professionals to work together with mutual respect to address this challenge. Looking ahead, I would hope that my work will contribute to alleviating the global burden of suffering due to mental health problems, both by improving access to quality care as well as by preventing mental health problems. When I received the call telling me that I was this year's recipient of this incredible prize, I was speechless because I knew I was following in the footsteps of giants of global health, many of whom I consider my heroes. I was truly humbled.